Hey beauties, welcome to my channel. I'm Brene and this is Vogue's Beauty. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys the big announcement that I've had for a little while now. I kind of gave it away, I think in my last video, but I did start my own line of lashes, my very own business. And it's been quite the journey. Um, very, very long, much awaited journey. And it's been a lot of work. But I got everything I need to get done, done. So kudos to me. And yeah. So I came up with these questions, kind of like an interview, on things that I think should be recognized that people who start their own businesses go through. And I guess kind of like the 411, that's what it is, 411? Like a FAQ. FAQ. Um, about what it takes to start your own line of anything, your own brand of anything. Uh, I like things in increments of five, so we have 10 questions. Comment below if you want to ask me more questions. Uh, these are just kind of questions that were kind of suggested to me by close friends and family. Uh, yeah, so if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask below. Or I'll do an updated video of this, however you guys prefer. And yeah, that's all I have. Hey, you fine? You ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What made you want to start your own business? So, what made me want to start my own business? Uh, definitely, I've always wanted to be my own boss. Uh, a lot of people that know me know that I work really hard. I've never only had one job ever in my life. Uh, maybe when I first started working, I had a jo one job. But ever since I was 17, like 17, 18, and I supported myself through school, um, I've always had two jobs. One time I had three jobs. That was not even that long ago. And it kind of deteriorated like my mental health. Um, it's a lot of work to work so many jobs and still not feel like you're up to par with everything that you want to get done. And I felt like having my own business, being my own boss, I kind of create how much money I make. I kind of set the tone of what I want to make, what I want to work. Uh, working for the man has never really been my thing. It's kind of, kind of annoying. It's kind of getting old. And yeah, that's what really drove it for me. I always wanted to do my own thing. I don't like being told what to do. And I also don't really like getting up in the morning um, and going to work, especially for long hours. I think with your own business, you get to choose your hours. You get to choose who you respond to. So working these jobs that you have to go to, you have to deal with people who are rude to you, who are nasty, but when you are your own boss, you kind of get to choose who you deal with. If someone's being rude to you via email or whatever, you can just tell them to have a nice day and you don't have to accept their business. As where working for someone else, you kind of just have to bite your tongue and I've never really been one to bite my tongue, so that's what really drove it for me and I've always been so passionate about having my very own thing, my own line, my own brand. So that's why I started this company. Okay, so since you said that pretty much working for somebody else is something that you don't want to do. Right. Obviously that drives you. Yeah. But what's like your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration, um, that's a good one. Um, inspiration. Something that inspires me kind of ties into someone who inspires me. I would definitely say like my dad. Uh, he's the most hardworking person I know. Him and also my grandma. Like those were the people that I looked up to growing up and they just had this really strong work ethic. Um, my grandma was a Capricorn, my dad's a Capricorn, I'm a Capricorn, so I think it's just kind of in my DNA, uh, to inspire and be inspired and get up every day and kind of make it happen, I guess you could say. Um, 
I would say like those two people are like definitely the most influential people in my life that inspire me. Uh, other things that inspire me are definitely like fashion, makeup, things like that. That's been always something that I've been really passionate about and I've always had a drive for those things since I was little. There was a time where I thought I wanted to be a marine biologist, but come on, like that wasn't really serious. Uh, I've always been really, I guess, trendy, fashion forward. Um, I wasn't into makeup until probably like sophomore year of college, but definitely very trendy, fashion forward. I used to get picked on for the way I dress, but I just feel like I was ahead of the times because now everyone talks about how trendy and stylish I am and they is that right that is so right <laughs> uh so I used to get picked on and I think that's also what inspired me you know I used to get bullied and now I think I kind of am one of those people that young girls look up to so that's something that's inspirational to me yeah so speaking of being an inspiration to the youth and whatnot yes. what advice would you have to like a younger girl watching this video right now the advice I would have is to definitely follow your own dream don't allow other people to really influence you don't allow people to tell you that you can't do anything um, because you you can you can do anything that you want to do uh, it's a lot of hard work it takes a lot of hard work a lot of dedication a lot of time uh, depending on what you want to do it might take a lot of money to start it up it may not um, but definitely a lot of time, dedication, and patience. You do have to devote a good amount of yourself to your brand and your business for it to be successful. There were so many things that I kind of just learned along the way. I didn't, myself, I didn't ask anyone for any advice. And I'm not saying that that's not something you should do. But I'm one of those people who has always been someone that wanted to get it on their own without any help from anyone um i feel like that's something that kind of was instilled in me so i didn't really ask for anyone's help i didn't ask for any advice but if i could give advice it would definitely be you have to put in the work the time and the dedication to do it and sometimes you have to sacrifice things that you don't want to sacrifice uh like your money your sleep your energy, you have to not socialize, like you might have to cut back on your social life, you might have to cut back on your spending, and trust me, that's really hard because I love to spend money. Um, so, yeah, that's the advice I would have. Awesome. Your name for your business is Voguish Beauty. Mm -hmm. What does Voguish mean? To be Voguish, it means to be fashionable and chic uh obviously vogue high fashion models whatever but vogueish is fashionable chic uh vogueish beauty fashionable and chic beauty um the reason the name kind of inspired is because obviously my name is verne and trying to find a word that started with the v that could also describe me was very difficult uh, it took a really long time. My best friend and I actually kind of collabed on this. Like, we kind of just sat it down and narrowed it down to Vogish, and it just stuck. And that's how Vogish happened. I think someone that's Vogish is definitely someone that isn't afraid to break the rules. Uh, they're definitely a trendsetter. They definitely, you definitely know who they are when they walk into a room. Um, they either just have a look to them or they just have a personality to them. That's what it means to be Vogish. Mm, it's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So out of all of your lashes, yes. what lashes do you think are for which occasions? Okay. So today I am wearing the style Vogish. Uh, Vogish is definitely, I wore Vogish on Valentine's Day on a date. Um, Vogish is definitely for someone that is fashionable. I would say someone that is, hmm. Would you consider the lash avant-garde? Mm -hmm. What? Would you consider it avant-garde? Mm -hmm. 
Would you consider the lash to be like a extra eccentric type of lash? I would say that Vogue is just, out of the three styles, that Vogue is just my medium style. So not too natural, not too bold, kind of just right in the middle. So these are the lashes that I'd wear. I wore these to something in the water. So something that, hey, I want to stand out from the crowd, but I don't want to do too much just yet. So that's what the Vogue-ish ones are for. I would say that Stiletto Chic, they're more like fun, flirty. Maybe you can even make them a little sporty. So that's for your girl who is more edgy. Uh, she doesn't really do a whole beat face but she can when she wants to but she also likes to tone it down and wear you know kind of like a natural dewy kind of look and she likes to pop a lash on a little gloss maybe a little highlight and go about her day your bogus girl is definitely gonna probably beat her face a little bit more she's definitely gonna be someone that's a trendsetter you're gonna be able to see her from the crowd uh, my third style of lashes that I have not really shown anyone, like no one knows what they look like, uh, I don't even know if people know the name, those are Coco Couture, and those are definitely your diva, like red carpet, stepping out on the scene, might show up to her son's football game in a fur coat, like that is Coco Couture. Uh, those are definitely my more dramatic pair, I've been keeping them on the hush, um, but I guess it's kind of time for everyone to see them because the lunch is, you know, here. And those are the lash styles. So you would have your fun, sporty, flirty girl, your trendsetter, and then your just diva, hot mama. So you have three. Three designs. lash styles, yes. Do you plan on doing more? Oh, definitely. Hell yeah. Awesome. Um, so many more. Um, like I said, I like things in increments of five. Just with my first launch and this being like my first time doing it, I didn't really want to overwhelm my viewers or you know my clients. And I definitely didn't want to overwhelm myself. I do have a tendency of overdoing things. And with my workload, with working both jobs and doing the YouTube and starting my own company, I just didn't want to do too much. I didn't want to stress myself out to the point where... It was just too much for me, so I was like, let me just do it in three, even though it hurts me a little bit, because five is definitely the way to go. Three is a good number, too. Three is a good number. Three is good. <laughs> three is a good number. Five just sounds... Ugh, increments of five. It's coming, though, right? It's coming. They're coming. Uh, there's so much to come from this collection, this line of... Like, there's just so much to come. I don't want to give away too, too much detail. This line, this collection... Uh, there's a lot to expect from me going forward. So, yeah. So, we should be excited. You should be really excited. I would stay tuned for what the Vogue Beauty Collection has to offer. Because it's not just lashes. Awesome. Okay, so, you, you have your packaging with you, correct? I do. Okay. I do. Okay. So. Okay, we got a cute little red bag. Also, piggying back on aspiration and advice to give, if you're going to start your own business, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get yourself a planner, okay? A planner and some color-coordinated pens because it will make your life so much simpler. And also, an actual day planner like a journal and a day planner. You need to write everything down, every idea, every everything from how much you want to charge, how much you're spending. Like you want to keep mental note of everything from certain dates you want to do, certain ideas you get. Make sure you write down all your ideas because every little detail and every idea has significance and importance. So these are the three styles. I bought one of each. The packaging is immaculate. The packaging, look at the packaging. The packaging actually matches my planner. Like, you, you just, I don't know. Oh, I should put a little sticker here. But yeah, so this 
is the packaging. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on. The style vogue -ish. These are the ones I'm actually wearing now. We also have Coco Couture. This is a style that no one knew about, but I guess now everyone does. And then we have Stiletto Chic for your more natural, fun, sporty girl. And those are the three styles. So Stiletto Chic, ugh, Stiletto Chic, Bogish, and Coco Couture. Um, those are the styles. I recommend when you do this, you definitely have to do your research. You definitely want to do your own research. You don't want to ask on other people for info because knowledge is power and you want to obtain your own knowledge. Um, you also want to get your business license. Uh, so you're official. Oh, I'm official. Like official, official. Like this, this, this brand, this is mine. Like this is my brand. So this is your baby. This is my baby. I have put so much money, so much effort, so much sleep, so much time, so much into this. Like I own this, okay? I own this, I run this. So this is something that you should obtain uh, when starting your own business. You can go, to, it depends. I guess it varies from different states. Uh, with pricing and things, you definitely have to get your name, you have to get a trade name. Um, so you have to go through the city and you have to, you know, give them the name that you want to operate under and you have to make sure that no one else has that name, that it can get approved. So that's the first step. Because I just went to the office thinking, okay, hey, here's my $50. I want my business license. No, 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 no. You have to go get your name. You have to go get the trade name. Then you have to go get a zoning clearance. Like, you literally have to get a zoning clearance. Like, like you actually have a business. Like, so you have to get a zoning clearance. So it's the trade name, the zoning clearance. Then you can get the license. So that is so important because I definitely just hopped in line and I was like, whatever, it's an hour before I gotta go to work. I'm about to get this this day. And it did not happen that way. It <laughs> happened over a course of days. Uh, but you bossed up. But I bossed up, you know. I, I bossed up. I, I'm glad I did it when I did. Uh, you definitely want to have your license before you start operating just because tax purposes, the IRS, you don't want to mess with them. Most you, definitely. You want to operate under your business. You don't want to owe a whole bunch of taxes at the end of the year. You don't want to be blindsided by foolery just because, you know, you were trying to start your own company, your own business, and then, boom, they just hit you with all these bills and fees. So definitely do it the right way. All right. So a little fun question for you. Okay. What celebrity would you want to see? And bogus beauty lashes. So everyone knows who my favorite celebrity is, hands down. It's Rihanna. Honestly, I know Rihanna doesn't really wear lashes. Um, she doesn't need them. She she doesn't need them. But she would look beautiful. In but yours. I think she would look absolutely stunning with the bogus beauty collection lashes. And if Rihanna were to wear my lashes, I probably would cry. Or even SZA. Uh, SZA definitely, she's beautiful, she's phenomenal. Um, it's another big artist that I love. Gwen Stefani, I think, I, like, I love Gwen. Uh, yes, she's very fashion forward. She's very fashion forward. Oh, that red lipstick is everything. Seems like she would, she could actually fit all three styles. I think she definitely would fit all three styles. Um, more so the stiletto chic though, Yes, definitely. Because it's a sporty feel. Rihanna, I know she doesn't really wear lashes, but I don't know. I could see her in Vogueish for sure. I would, I would, I would love to see that. Um, another big celebrity. I don't know. I don't really have another big celebrity other than Rihanna. Like if Rihanna or Gwen or SZA or anybody. I mean, that's a good. Those are some pretty I big think, names. Yeah, those. That's all I can think of right now. Those three. 
Okay, so thinking long term. Okay, long term. Where do you see Vogue's beauty in five years? Five years from now, I'll be turning 25 for the fifth time. <laughs> so I'll be 30. <laughs> but I'll be, I'll be 25, five times in a row. Um, 30 years, I mean, shit. Five years from now, when I'm 30 and fabulous, I plan to see Vogue's beauty as a major retailer. I, ma I imagine Vogue's Beauty, definitely, I'm not going to only be doing lashes. I'll be selling way more, pro uh, ugh, excuse me, a more, how do I say this, a larger array of products. Uh, definitely, I, the Vogue's Beauty Collection, I don't, I want it to name it the Vogue's Beauty Collection because I want it to sound like something elite and luxurious but I do want it to be affordable and obtainable for everyday people and consumers because if you think about all these big luxury brands like I can't spend forty dollars on a bar of soap sorry no shade to you know anybody but all these big brands that charge four hundred dollars for a belt six hundred dollars for a pair of shoes like I definitely see Vogue's Beauty being one of those upper end retailers but not charging so much. Uh, definitely luxurious, sustainable fashion, but at a more effective cost and price point. So you want to be a household name? Household name, definitely. Uh, I want to have everything, like every single thing under the sun you can think of, How home decor, I want I want shoes, I want handbags, I want clothes, I want my own line of hair, I want, I, I don't want, I plan to do my own line of makeup, I've been talking about that for years, uh, apparel, I think I said that, accessories, sunglasses, you name it. So just an empire. And just an empire, really large empire. The Vogue-ish beauty empire. The Vogue-ish beauty collection empire. I just want it to be something big. I want to be able to employ people as well. I want to be able to pay them livable wages because let's be real, a lot of these big retailers don't play don't pay their employees. They don't. They make all this money, but you know, the people that are working for them don't make anything. So definitely want to be a household name and also pay the people that are working for me and also give back to the community. Um, I see, I don't see, I see it happening, but I don't see enough of it happening. Um, it's just not enough. Like there's just so much more that can be done. There's only so much money that one person needs. And I feel like as a whole, as a team, if everyone collaborated, worked together, the world would be a much better place. And I think Bogus Beauty can do that. Most definitely. I actually don't think I know. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. And it's so. going to happen because so. you have to speak things into existence. You do. And it's going to happen. I spoke this into existence and it's happening. So everything that I want, everything that needs to get done will get done. And I'm coming for everything that is mine. And everything that they said I couldn't have. Oh, that's right. So, for the last question, okay. the most important question. The most important question. Where can people find the Vogue's Beauty Collection? People can find the Vogue's Beauty Collection on the Vogue's Beauty Collection website, which is Vogue'sBeauty.co. Uh, the website is going to launch May 6th. Um, that has been the day that I've been thinking of forever. May 6th is was one of the best days of my life. So I, you'll notice that with my brand, you'll notice that a lot of things are gonna be released on days that have meaning to me and my life and the people around me. So you'll notice certain, hol like certain birthdays or certain things like that and it's just because it's from a loved one and it has meaning to me. So it's gonna be released on a day that has meaning and it'll help me remember, it'll help you guys remember, and it'll have significance. It won't just be a random day, it'll actually 
mean something and stand by something. All right. So website once again. Website is the bogus beauty. Oh shit. Website is bogusbeauty.co. So you guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you guys so much for supporting my brand and my journey and being here for me. And this has not been an easy process by far at all. This has definitely been very, very hard, very tedious, a lot of work. And, but I am glad that it's done or it's getting done. Um, got to be a doer. You be a dreamer, but you got to do. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys all buy lashes and I hope you guys all stay tuned for what's to come. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down any questions that you have for me below, anything that I did not answer for you guys. Um, I will remake this video later on down the line, but like and subscribe and most importantly, have a bogus day beauties. When I'm dead and gone and I'ma stop Till then I'ma give it to him proper